BPHN or persistent pulmonary hypertension is a challenging topic and I came across this article by Patrick McNamara, Dr. Satyan and Regan in Journal of Pediatrics. They have given a very nice algorithm on approach to vasoactive medication in the presence of PPHN. So once you diagnose acute pulmonary hypertension, you start nitric oxide and you do targeted echocardiography. If the baby has a right ventricular dysfunction or not is the first question. If there is no right ventricular dysfunction, if the FAO2 is less than 0.6, you monitor, optimize the ventilation and uh, adjust accordingly. If FAO2 is more than 0.6, you consider mildenone and sildenafil as appropriate. Uh, if there is uh, right ventricular dysfunction then you look at whether there is hypotension or not if there is no hypotension mildenone can be the first choice and dobutamine as well as uh, low dose epinephrine can be considered and if the ductus is restrictive pge is an option if there is hypotension you would uh, have to be careful if the fao2 is less than 0.6 you could either go for vasopressin or norepinephrine and if refractory hydrocortisone and if fao2 is more than 0.6 first line is vasopressin and uh, hydrocortisone if refractory uh, if there is left ventricular dysfunction obviously you would not uh, continue nitric oxide and you have to be careful with the use of appropriate inotropes uh, as well as uh, after load reduction. This is a very useful algorithm, very practical. Not every center in India, for example, would have vasopressin and cost may be a factor. So you have to review and focus availability is important as well.